So for number four, it says the hypotenuse, that's gonna be one of your keywords, of a right triangle, another keyword, has a length of 14 units and a side that is nine units long. Which equation can be used to find the length of the remaining side? So for number four, let's kind of go through our keywords here. First, we have the hypotenuse and a right triangle. So we know it's gonna look like this. Right triangle has a 90 degrees. Now the length of the hypotenuse is 14 units. The hypotenuse is always the longest side. So that's gonna be 14. Now a side is nine units. So it could be either side, it won't make a difference. Let's use the shorter side. So we'll use, we'll put that as a nine. So we're looking for this one. So the easiest way to go about this is to remember the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equal c squared. So for the Pythagorean theorem, this only applies to right triangles. I'm gonna draw a replication of this one here, but I'm gonna use these variables. So this is a, b, and c. So if you compare these two, we know a and we know c. So we're solving for b. So if a is nine, we can use nine squared plus, we don't know b, so we're gonna keep it as b squared equals 14 squared. Now this problem didn't ask you to solve for b, it just asked you to find the equation which can be used to solve for b. So we actually only need to isolate b squared over here. So like any math problem, you're going to cancel these two and subtract it to this side. So your answer ends up being b squared equals 14 squared minus 9 squared.